What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm going to be telling you the story of the forgotten grey crewmate. You may have asked yourself at least once in your life, why don't we have a grey color in Among Us? Why do we have different shades of green but no grey color? Well there is a dark secret behind this. I have been receiving a lot of messages from my subscribers telling me that they have encountered this grey crewmate and I didn't even know it was possible until I faced it myself and I'm here to tell you the full story. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit the subscribe button, which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on, and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's go over the story of the mysterious Grey Crewmate. So who is the hidden Grey Crewmate? The Grey Crewmate is also known as the 11th player in Among Us. At the moment there's only 10 crewmates, and 12 different color options. According to some rumors that 11th crewmate among us is known as the great crewmate and this great crewmate has been spotted across all of the maps many players encountered him on the map of mira hq and i'm going to be testing it out in this video you may be asking why is the great crewmate found across the game well the great crewmate was very disappointed that he wasn't selected as part of the original crew the imposters found out about this information and used him as a way to get into the maps the great crewmate is also known as as this code name, which is five zeros. This mysterious player managed to hack into the map of Mira HQ while I was playing Among Us, and I'm here to tell you my side of the story. So my encounter with this mysterious player started off on the map of Mira HQ. I spawned into the map and the lights were off. I then made my way over to the lights and I wanted to fix them as soon as possible. As I was walking there, I saw a shadow. I couldn't tell at the time if it was a crewmate or if I was just seeing things. As I got closer to lights, I saw a crewmate standing above the vent. He I quickly vanished and I looked around the entire area, hoping to see this mysterious player. I got tired of looking so I turned on the lights and I saw nothing. I walked around the entire map hoping to see if I could find this great crewmate since a lot of people were telling me that you can find him on this map. While I was in the locker room, someone sabotaged communications. I was really confused because nobody was in my lobby since I was just playing free play. I then tried my best to fix communications but I was struggling. I needed to have two players players, but I was the only one in the map. While I was trying to fix the communications in the office area, I realized that it said 1 out of 2, so I ran as fast as I could to the communication room. When I was about to arrive, it was already too late. Yeah, I don't think I can fix this alone. And that is when I heard a loud noise coming from the reactor room. I was really curious so I made my way over to decontamination and walked into a reactor and saw nothing. I then checked next door which was a laboratory to see if maybe I got the place confused but nothing was in there. I then heard a loud bang coming from the doors. I walked in and saw nothing. While I was trapped in the decontamination room, I heard the vent move and it was coming from the laboratory. I then walked slowly to the area that I heard the noise and when I walked into laboratory I saw that great crewmate standing above the vent. I got really scared so I ran into a reactor and that is when my player froze. The great crewmate then appeared right in front of my face and he started to teleport all around me. This was not an ordinary crewmate and that is when I came to the conclusion that this player was hacked. After that player encountered with the great crewmate I wanted to come up with a story on how he was created. The story starts off on the map of Mira HQ, one of the original maps of Among Us. There was four crewmates, the commander, the astronomer, the operator, and the henchman. The commander was the main guy on the ship. He was the one that made all of the decisions for all of the crewmates. On a regular day, he would just walk around the entire ship, making sure that nothing was wrong. One day, the operator called a meeting in the communication room. Everyone showed up. The operator asked the commander a question. Who are the crewmates that you're going to be selecting for the next space travel? Since one of the major goals that the crewmates had was to one day colonize the universe, the commander decided to go with 10 crewmates. Originally, there were 13 spacesuits that the crewmates could wear. All were different colors, and one of them was gray. All 13 spacesuits were registered on the computer system, and all their data was stored. 
On the computer system, the operator was able to tell if the spacesuits had any damage. He noticed that the gray suit had a small malfunction. The commander was in a rush to send the crewmates to the map of Polis. So he asked the operator to go with the plan. And whatever happens, happens. The operator hesitated, but he couldn't say no to the commander. He agreed with this plan. This ended up being a terrible mistake. This malfunction on the spacesuit was more of a big deal than they realized. When one of the crewmates put on the suit, it caused them to suffocate and it made the crewmate go unconscious. Unknown ended up finding his body and he took the body to his leader Ion. Ion inspected the body of the crewmate and realized that he could use this to his advantage. The crewmate ended up waking up because the imposter saved his life. The crewmate was so grateful that the imposter saved his life that he wanted to do anything to pay them back. They came to an agreement and they sent the great crewmate back to the map of Mira HQ and his main mission was to gather information for the imposters and that is the reason why you randomly encounter this crewmate because he's always watching you. If you would like me to continue the story of the great crewmate, let's see if we can get this video to 15,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping reproduce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator reach his goals of 10,000 subscribers, make sure that you go to his channel and subscribe to him. Also, if you're new to the channel and have yet to hit that subscribe button, make sure to do it right now so you don't miss out on any new videos. And while you're at it, make sure to check out one of these Among Us story videos. 